Hi mamas, it's Tori Levine from Babies at the Bar and from Mommy Bar. I'm expecting. So I want to take you on the journey of exercising along with me from four weeks, which is today, up until through when baby is born and as they're growing up. Today we're going to start doing a little exercise. I've already been feeling some pain from other lower back things, so I just wanted to really work on that core and some glutes. We're just going to take our feet hip width apart. Everything we do, we want to connect that belly, feel like you're scooping out, belly button's pulling way back into your spine, and we're going to be using our glutes and lifting that pelvic floor. So we're going to take a nice inhale down, exhale, squeeze all the way up. Inhale down, squeeze up, inhale, squeeze up, good, and we're going to do four more like this, each time you go down really keep that belly button pulled in nice and tight and as you straighten your legs, feel like you're squeezing from your pelvic floor, pushing into your heels and your glutes are pressing you up to the ceiling. Great. Now we're just going to do some little marches, again, to keep ourselves warming up. And what you're going to do here, again, we're feeling like that belly button is engaged the entire time. Each time we step down on our supporting leg, we don't want to sink into hips. That's not good. We want to keep that glute nice and engaged. And then we're going to add in some opposite arm, opposite leg. So that is really going to Feel like you're getting taller, pulling that belly button in and engaging that core and pelvic floor. Go ahead and four more, three more, two more, and last one. And I already feel that in my core just from keeping that nice and tight. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take our hips, or sorry, our feet hip width apart again, and we're gonna just lift one heel at a time so we're warming up those ankles. And now we're gonna do that both at the same time. All right, so if you need to, grab onto a bar, put your hand against the wall, or hold onto a chair. We're gonna do a little plie. We're gonna lift our heels, straighten our legs, and lower down. Plie, lift those heels, straighten, lower down. Good. And as always, keeping that pelvic floor engaged and lifted, belly button is pulled back to our spine, and we're squeezing in that touch. Good, now we're gonna reverse that. Our heels are gonna go up. We're gonna bend our knees, drop our heels down, and straighten. Good, and what you wanna do with your arms here, if you're holding them out to the side, you wanna feel like your back is doing that that you're not using your shoulders to hold up your arms, that you're really pulling your shoulder blades down and your back is really extending your arms out and that's what's holding everything. Good, that's gonna really strengthen your back. Um, keep your shoulders back and really help you as your body starts changing through pregnancy and then also once baby's here and you're holding them so we don't have this um, neck pain from that. All right. So we're going to take one leg to the back, we're going to bend it, and we're going to bring it in and up. So it's just like you're pushing that heel up to the ceiling. I don't want you to be tucking your tailbone and then pressing it back and popping your ribs out. You want to have your shoulders over your hips, over your ankle, and that core engaged nice and tight. So you're only lifting that until you feel like you're going to have to arch your back. And this is really going to work on this glute here and as well as your standing leg. Good. Now we're going to go out to the side and 
and like a dog and a firefighter and I like to call it. Good, we're going to do 10 here. Now, let's switch sides and do that to the other side so we're evened out. So we're going to press that heel up and down. Good. And as you can see, I remember this with my son. Pretty much as soon as I found out I was pregnant, if I was walking up the stairs, started getting short of breath. So you'll tell <laughs> I'm not really overexerting myself at all. It's just, as your body changes, you'll notice things start to get moved around, and oxygen's going other places as well, so you're going to start feeling short of breath <laughs> if you're talking a lot like I am. Okay, now we're going to go out to the side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're just going to do one more exercise and then we'll stretch because what's going to start happening is our, we're start, going to start already if we haven't already, tucking our tailbone more. So that's going to make our hip flexors very tight. So I really want to work on those glutes and hamstrings. So we're just going to do some squats straight down. Your feet are going to be parallel. That belly button is going to stay pulled in the whole time, and it's almost like you're sitting, sticking your butt out to sit on something, and then squeezing out with those glutes. Sticking out, squeezing out, and I like to put my arms out to have that nice out position, because when you want to keep your torso as straight as possible, and you don't want to curl over, so again, that back is nice and flat, that belly button is staying pulled in the whole time, we're not sticking anything out except for our pushes. Good, two more here. And last one. All right, and then we're just gonna do a couple stretches. So we're gonna take our heel, one leg back, one leg forward, this front leg is gonna be bent. We're gonna press that back heel into the floor, get a nice calf stretch. As always, we never just want to let our bellies hang. We want to keep those engaged, our core nice and tight. And then from there, what we're going to do, I'll turn so you can see, is you're going to bend even further into that front leg. You can even, you can bend this back leg, you're going to lift that heel. This is going to stretch your hip flexor right here, which gets pretty tight and it can cause a lot of that lower back pain because your hips are too tight, your glutes are too weak. So this is a great stretch to do. But you always wanna remember now that you're pregnant, um, you don't wanna stretch too far because your joints, um, as more and more relaxing comes into your body, uh, you will be able to stretch more. Good, we're gonna switch sides, do that calf stretch here. But it can also be a little hard on your joints, or your joints can move more. So we don't want to stretch too far so that our joints open up. Okay, that's the calf stretch, and then we're going to bend forward even further, stretching this. This is what I, and I tell my clients this, even in Pilates and bar classes, this is the only time I let you really stick your hips forward because you want to press your hips forward to get this nice stretch in your hip flexor. Um, but as always, what am I going to say? Your core is engaged. Good, and then we're just going to stand with our feet together. And we're just going to take a nice stretch over to the side. Feel that all the way along your side here and your hip. This also is good if you take yourself to the back or the front a little bit, you'll get some different stretches along your side that can even go all the way down your leg. And then we'll just do one to the other side here. All right, and then I always like to just do a little stretch here where you put your hands, clasp them together, press 
onto the back, and then just roll your head side to side, always just to the front. You don't want to roll to the back. And there you go. And this is another great stretch to do daily. As you'll notice as your body's changing, your breasts will be heavier. You'll start doing this, so it's great to really stretch out any of that tension in your neck and your um, upper back. Thank you for joining me for this day one workout, our prenatal bellies at the bar series, although there's no bellies yet. <laughs> but this is a great thing to do throughout your pregnancy. All of this is safe for every trimester, as well as this is a great one for postnatal. You can do it with baby just put in the carrier. Um, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you always get notifications of new exercises coming out a couple of weeks. And like this video and comment with any questions you have, what things you liked, and anything else you'd like to learn about. Great, right, thanks for joining me at the Mommy Bar. I can't wait to go on this journey with you.